Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Diane, or at Poppy Paper. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, some of you guys may already know me. I'm a snail mailer and I make nail art and, and I send them to people around the world, um, to my pen pals and to other snail mailers alike. So today I'll be sharing with you some tips on how I make um, vintage flip books and at the same time I'll be showing you one of the flip books that I've made and I'll be sending out to one of my pen pals in Korea. So without further ado, let's get started with the tips that I'll be sharing with you guys. Some of the most important things that you need to have when you're um, making a vintage flip book or making a vintage letter, um, actually any type of letter but um, in this case it's just vintage so I'm using vintage um, designs or vintage types of materials. So um, the first thing that I'm going to share with you is this. Vintage style design papers. So you'll be needing a lot of design papers because the base of the flipbook will um, depend on these types of papers. So in this case, I bought this at um, just a regular bookstore uh, here in the Philippines. It's called National Bookstore for those who are living in the Philippines. Its original price is 135 pesos, but I bought it for half the price, so fairly recently, like a week ago. So this um, type of, of design paper looks like this. It has a lot of different um, floral designs. Um, it's called Enchanted, but there are also a lot of different types, so you can just look through um, some different design papers. Um, I also got this floral wrapping book, but I didn't use this for um, this video. But some of the flipbooks I've made, I've used this, and yeah, I got this floral wrapping book on at one six eight. So it's um, kind of like a cheap department store here in the Philippines. So it's called a Change. But I think you can find this on Shopee for those who are living here in the Philippines. But for those residing overseas, I think you'll be able to find some of these um, wrapping paper books on Amazon or on eBay. So the next important uh, design material that you'll need is or are stickers. So these are just um, 3D stickers that uh, I found at Landmark for those of you, again, living here in the Philippines in Manila area or in Metro Manila, you'll be able to find a lot of um, stickers at Landmark. I bought these stickers, so this set for just um, 30 pesos. I think it's on sale. So I bought a lot of different types. I think three and I used one of these types on the flipbook that I'll be sharing with you guys later. This is um, a 3D type of sticker. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, it's 3D and it's very nice to use on your crafting so that there is a little bit of dimension or texture to your product. The third and final um, most needed item or uh, a tip that you need, a, a product that you need is or are washi tapes. I bought these over on Instagram, like one of the Instagram sellers that uh, I found. Uh, I'm not sure what the name is, but I'm gonna check later. I'll put the, uh, the name of the person or of the shop here, just somewhere around here in this area. These are the washi tape examples that I have. I'm almost done with this. This is my favorite type. It's just huge um, squares compared to these um, little squares. This is another one of my favorites, but I haven't used it as much as the grid one. Yeah, so it just shows um, uh, airmail by airmail. So yeah, airmail and here is just coffee based like espresso or something. I think those are the most important uh, materials that you'll be needing when you're making a flipbook, no matter what kind of style uh, that flipbook may be. After those tips, let's get into the flipbook that um, I'll be showing you, I'll be walking you through. So I just made this a couple of days ago, I think starting a week ago until yesterday. So I wasn't able to record um, how I made this flipbook because uh, I made it part by part. I hope that that's okay. Next time, I'll try to make a flipbook in just one sitting. Let's start. So this flipbook that I made is um, vintage, kind of floral, vintage, butterfly theme. So using the paper, remember the paper that I've shown you a while ago, the designer paper? 
yeah so i've used the page um and i glued those pages together because uh, if you can see the flip book uh, i mean the designer paper has no um design at the back so what i did was i glued two pages of those designer papers to make um the page a lot thicker and at the same time so that there is going to be a design at the back when you flip it so this is the um the front page of the flip book that i made so you'll see the stickers that i use are butterfly theme and they're 3d and there's gold foil on them the washi tape that i've showed you earlier i placed it on the sides so the pages would stick together so this is purely made out of washi tape yeah so i didn't use glue to stick anything together except for the pages of course or the the design paper but the, the sides i just used washi tape to stick them together before we open it i'll show you how thick it is so yeah, it's about two-thirds of an inch thick. It's filled with a lot of um, 3D stickers. So this is the first page. When you open it, it looks like this. The first page, um, I've included some note sets. So this is just decorative stickers. On the other side, I just um, stuck on some acetate with um, regular Elmer's glue. And I placed washi tape here. And these are just cutouts from a book that I purchased from a store called Book Sale or a thrift shop here in the Philippines. So the book was very inexpensive and yeah, I cut off these flowers that um, that are very nice and yeah, they're, the pages are high quality. So this is how it looks like. Uh, yeah, I won't remove it anymore because I'm gonna have a hard time putting them back in. But that's the first um, few pages of the book. And now I'm going to open this flip book the other way around to show you the next part. Yeah, so this is the next part of the flip book. So yeah, this is how it looks like. And yeah, I'll show this side first. This side. When you open this, yeah. So I just um, made a little design here of a fake postage stamp. And this is the grid type that I shown you a while ago that I said that this was my favorite. This is just a sticker and yeah, this is another sticker that I printed out of an old seal. So next, um, this is another uh, vintage style washi tape that I used at the top and at the bottom. So there. And this is just a sticker that I got from one of my pen pals and some more tape at the back. So here are just used postage stamps. And inside this um, envelope that I got, this envelope is actually just recycled. I got this from a photo studio that uh, I went to. And inside, I just placed a sticker and some um, tags. So these are just the tags that um, some of my pen pals gave me. So I just place them back. And yeah. I'm gonna seal this with another sticker that I'll be using. I'm sorry if it's a bit shaky, but yeah, I can't control it. So here, I'm just gonna place a sticker so that it won't it won't um open. And I'm I this is one of the postcards that I received from an office mate. It's a vintage postcard, so I decided to include it here, um, just for decoration. And yeah, so I'm just gonna fold this and fold this to keep the pages inside hidden and i'm gonna use another sticker to seal it so here this sticker is um it has a washi tape type texture so uh it won't destroy the paper if ever the recipient decides to reuse it actually this paper these i mean came from uh the one who i'm going to send this flipbook to so i usually use the papers for the people that send these papers to me so that um, I show I can show them that I appreciate the papers that they send me and I use them so now we go on to this page so these are just flowers that um, flower stickers that I printed yeah these are self printed so the quality is not that nice but I'm not sure if you can sh uh, see it on camera but these butterflies are um, cut out stickers that the person who I'm going to send this flip up to also sent me yeah, so I think it fits the theme perfectly. And this is just paper that I used because I think it fits this page. 
This one is just um, an envelope that I stuck another butterfly on and yeah. So and again, my favorite good washi tape and some um, washi tape that another friend sent me. Inside, I just put in, I just stuck this envelope using magic tape, if you can see it. And here, it's just a post-it set of um, random watches. This is brand new, haven't used it yet, but I removed it from the packaging so that I'll be able to fit it here in this um, envelope. So let me just return it. Got this from Landmark again. Or I think SM Department Store. Yeah, not very sure where I got that from. Um, and then, so we're done with another page. And this is the last um, page that I'll be showing you. Um, actually, there are two pages because when I open it, there are two pages, of course. So again, I stuck these um, with washi tape that I had. And um, these are just stickers that I printed off. Yeah, you could see that I printed them on sticker paper that I bought at um, a bookstore, so a local bookstore. I printed these on high quality, so that's why they look a little bit better than um, not as pixelated as other um, stickers. So I just included a uh, T here. Some um, stickers, cutout stickers that uh, I found also again at Landmark. Um, these stickers are actually from Manet from Korea. So it's not focusing but yeah it's a known um, online shop and they make a lot of cute items. I was surprised to see uh, their stickers at Landmark. Yeah. So these wreath, uh, I think these are just um, papers, board papers. So my friend uh, gave me some samples of these and I'm sharing some with the person that I'm going to send this flipbook to. And next, um, this is just a regular tracing paper that I'm sharing. I cut um, this tracing paper into four and yeah, I'm sure that she'll be able to use this in her crafting. And at the back, I just stuck an old book page um, for texture just in case she decides to remove it and it still looks good. Yeah, I wanted it to still look good even if she removes all the items. Yeah, so, and to the last page, I just included a pack of stickers. Yeah, so these are all vintage stickers that I bought from SM Department Store. So they're all different at the back. They have um, like fairies, um, postage stamps, uh, yeah, random stuff, yeah, comb. Uh, these cost me around a dollar um, or a dollar fifty at uh, SM Department Store. So here is another tip. You have to look at Shopee first. Yeah, if you're from the Philippines, look at Shopee first because I found the exact same set of stickers at Shopee for a cheaper price. So it's not really that expensive if you buy it at SM, but Shopee will ship to you for free. So if you buy a lot, then you will be able to save a lot more if you buy online. So I think it has like a 10 or 20 pesos difference. So I just um, removed them from the packaging and tied them with this cute pom-pom string that a friend used for me before. This is the letter that I sent her um, and I just used an old... Uh, this is a page from one of my planners that I didn't use. So I think it's very cute. It's Hello Kitty and it fits the vintage um, floral theme. And the last thing that I included in this flipbook is um, a set of stickers that I got from Japan. So this is just um, a sample of all the stickers that I got from that set that I purchased in Japan. And they're very cute. Um, so let me open. They're all food themed. The last page, I used another butterfly, and this one is just a doily that's not um, stuck on. I just used, again, some washi tape so that she can remove it if ever she wants to reuse it. Um, but the page, this page is very nice since um, there's um, gold foil uh, around the butterflies. So I love this page so much. And I think this blue butterfly fits this uh, last page. So. Yeah, I'm gonna close this flipbook. At the back, 
it's just this which matches I think the front so I just picked out a nice um, matching style of paper from the book that I've shown you earlier I hope you like this simple walkthrough and I hope you learned something from this uh, video if you like um, to see some more of my flip books I don't do just vintage flip books sometimes I do kawaii actually I do kawaii a lot more and you'll be able to see some of these um, kawaii flip books and other uh, vintage flip books on my Instagram page so it's at poppy paper I'll include a link to um, my page somewhere here or maybe at the description box down below thank you very much again for watching and for your support and I hope to see you guys again on my next video Please don't forget to comment, to like, and to subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye!